In this video, you will learn the basics of creating isometric design using actions and 3D effects in Adobe Illustrator. We will create three actions, one for each side needed, which will be the top, the ISO left, and the ISO right. I created three squares, each named accordingly. For starters, head to the Windows panel and select Actions. Here you can go to the menu and click on New Set. I'll name it Isometric Actions. Go back to the side menu and select New Action, name it Isotop, and click Record. From this point on, anything we will do will be recorded by Illustrator. So let's start. Select the first square and activate the Scale tool. Input 82% horizontal and 70.5% vertical and press OK. Go to the Shear tool, press Enter on your keyboard and input a 30 degree angle. Then go to the Rotate tool and press Enter on your keyboard once more and input a minus 30 degree angle. And you will see that we created a top facing isometric shape. Finalize by clicking Stop Recording to create the action. Let's continue by creating the ISO left action. Go to the Actions menu, select New Action and name it. Select the second shape and activate the Scale tool and input the same digits as earlier. Activate the Shear tool, input a minus 30 degree and press OK. Activate the Rotate tool, input another minus 30 degree and press OK. Stop the recording to finalize the isometric left action. Finally, let's create the ISO right action. Follow the same steps as the ISO left except for the shear and rotate part and put a 30 degree angle for both. Finalize the action by pressing stop recording. And now we have actions for the three facing isometric shapes. Now that we have the actions, let's create our TV illustration from the thumbnail you clicked on. Create a black rectangle and curve the edges. Go to the Effects panel and click on Extrude and Bevel Classic. Under the Position tab, select the isometric left option and then give it a 300 point depth. Once complete, press OK. To turn this into an editable shape, go to the top menu and select Expand Appearance. From this point on, we can no longer edit using the 3D panel. Let's remove the fill and give it a dark red outline from the DOM Design's color palette. Select All and release Clipping Mask, then ungroup until the option is no longer available. With the help of the Shape Builder tool, click and drag to combine the shapes together to simplify them. Make the strokes thicker like so. Now let's create an isometric line right over here using the actions. For this, I will use the ISO right. Then select all, activate the shape builder and delete the overlapping lines. Let's create the screen. Create a square and use the ISO left action to make it isometric. Place it and resize it to fit. Now what we could do is move shapes or anchor points along an isometric path. So with the direct selection tool, click the top anchor point on the right. And with the move tool activated, press enter under all the options, input 0, under angle, input minus 30 or 30, then go back to distance tab and play with the value in order to move the points on an isometric path. Now you can do this with any shape or anchor points and that's what we will do throughout this illustration. Using the actions, the 3D effect tool and moving shapes along isometric paths, we will finish off the outline of the illustration. Don't be afraid to slow things down, and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Mm -hmm. 
Don't forget, you can use the 3D Classic Effects panel for shapes that need to be extruded. Now that you've learned how to create isometric outlines, let me show you how to add color. For starters, create a second layer and rename the layers Outline and Color. Select all and duplicate the outline onto the second layer. Proceed to lock and hide the top layer. We will now remove all unnecessary lines from the color layer because they do not need to be colored. Select all and activate the Live Paint Bucket tool. With this tool activated, we can choose a color I carefully selected from my DOM Designs palette and I will assign it to the illustration. I'll start applying pink to the TV making sure to have the top to be the lightest color for the highlight and bottom right to be the darkest for shadows. Once you're done adding the color, head to the top menu and click on expand. We will then ungroup to detach the line work from the color and then delete it. Don't worry because when we unhide the outline layer, you'll see that the outline is still present. Let's finalize this by adding some subtle highlights to the screen and some shadows to the buttons. Ungroup the colors and create a white ellipse. With the shape builder, delete the outside part. Then turn the opacity down to give it a subtle highlight. Apply one more highlight with an isometric ellipse. Apply another casting shadow at the top. Finally, around the knobs, I'll add a dark yellow shadow. And there you have it. This is how you can create isometric drawings by using isometric actions and the 3D effects panel. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please drop a like on the channel as it will greatly help out the channel grow. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll be able to answer them for you. Hope to see you in the next video. Cheers everyone!